Hello community! Um, in this video we will show you how you assemble the uh, Mega 65 dev kit. So you received the package from Trans and today we're going to show you how you actually put the nice acrylic case together and get your Mega 65 dev kit ready for use. First thing, do a quick orientation. This is normally the slot how you can access the SD card. And we will start with the PCB. So easiest thing is have a look for the screws of the PCB. And you see already, that's how the PCB will go. These ones are the ones that we need for the uh, floppy drive. These are the thin distance washers for the PCB. Should be seven of them. Exactly. So these are the washers for the PCB. These ones are the distance washers for the floppy drive and these should be eight. Your dev kit comes shipped with a re completely refurbished floppy drive. Take one wash over here. There is no force needed. for a second. We have to start with the PCB. To do this we need the distance washers now. So all acrylic plastic parts are sealed with a plastic foil on both sides. So please remember this when you assemble the um, dev kit. We just take one screw. They're all applied with ad adhesive, so it shouldn't be an issue getting them on. So what I do now is I use one screw. First one. Board is in. You already can set the three distant bolts for the case itself. How the upper case will later be screwed to the lower case. For this, he actually made these 3D printed parts. with fitting screws. So, this part is prepared. Now we can start with the floppy drive. So we start with the data cable. Have a look how I fold it. The GND pin connection is shown correctly. Also keep in mind, this is the more flat 34-pin connector, while the side on the floppy is the other type. 
Okay, we start now by folding. We call it the cable origami. And we actually start by folding it downwards, like over here. Let it be roughly one centimeter over the edge. Fold it upwards, like this. Fold it to the back side. Like this. And that's the whole trick in principle. We now can lay the cable over here and we'll be able to connect it to the floppy drive. Second thing we need directly as well is power cable. So the power cable softly bend down the cables over here. You can make an easy test fit and you will see it fits perfectly in like this. Before we actually can go ahead and mount the floppy drive onto the um, base part of the case, we have this programmer was supplied as well by, uh, by Trends. You have to put the programmer in the appropriate place. Please ensure that you are pin correct with the programmer on it. The so next thing before we, con we continue putting the floppy disk drive in, please ensure that you have dip switch number one, this one, and dip switch number three, this one, in on position. Um, it is a lot harder to do, do this afterwards once the floppy drive is connected. So please ensure dip switch one and dip switch three, as shown over here, are in the on position. The other ones are in off position. Also, you've been supplied mini USB cable. So if you want, you can already attach it. This makes life easier later as well. Start with the side over here. What you can see now nicely over here is the plastic distance washer over here on the top part and here on the lower part. Like I said, these distance washers are absolutely essential, otherwise we will have problems when we later try to put the side plane on our case for the floppy cutout. First, this is the main keyboard plastic holder that will keep the mainboard inside the case. You see this here on the side. That's where it will go to the side planes of the case. This is actually directly on top of the keyboard and will just have enough space for our um, LEDs. I'm going to show you this by now. So first thing again, like I already mentioned, all laser cut parts have plastic foils, protection foils on both sides of the cutout. Your uh, Mega 65 dev kit will come applied with our perfect, perfect keyboard. In principle, first thing you actually will do is you move the first plane completely over the keyboard like this. The second one will come a minute later. We need five screws to secure the keyboard. The keyboard is secured with five screws, so you see there are only a couple of them. 
to be precise, this one is one of the screws. This one, this one, this one, and this one. This one and this one are not used. While we got the keyboard over here, we take one of the supplied cables. That's the keyboard cable which will connect the keyboard to the Mega 65 mainboard. Quite easy, the cable is facing towards you inside the keyboard PCB and you actually just with not much force put it on. It's also prepared already. Preparation for the keyboard complete. We can put the keyboard beside again. continue with the bottom part. You will get from us also a nice reset button. So now we have everything together we can actually start. We start with the back plane. It's amazing how beautiful this case looks like. careful when you move this part in that you check with the um, analog video output screws. Like I said it's very important that you have the program in. I detached the USB cable again. You actually could put it in now as well and lead it here through. You also can do this later. For the keyboard, ensure that the cable is looking towards you. onto the Mega 65. So, last thing left actually see um, feet. What also came in the package is the SD card. The Omega 65 is ready to go. So if you followed the, our assembly video, we would like to wish you happy programming. And for all other information, how to start and so on, please follow the links in the description. Thank you very much.